Now I know what you're thinking. You're looking up here, looking at me, and thinking to yourself, that guy must be a hardcore gangster rapper. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, I know, but uh, I'm not. I could never be a rapper, no. I get, I, I, I'm way too nervous on stage, you know? Like I'd be at like a rap battle, you know? All the guys would be up lined up for a roll call. One guy would be like, I'm Money B. Next guy would be like, I'm Mookie D. I'd be like, I'm Hepatitis C. <laughs> That's a horrible rap name. No one wants to hang with Hep C's crew. I like doing the, uh, I like doing the comedy because it makes up for uh, a strange childhood. I had a strange childhood, one of those weird childhoods. Grew up in a very religious family. So uh, I didn't have the same toys that all my friends had. My friends had cool toys, like uh, Transformers, Rock On. I had the action nativity. Uh, <laughs> it's horrible. And my friends were like, I got Optimus Prime, he transforms into a semi-truck. Like, oh yeah, I got a Samurai Joseph and his three ninja wise men. <laughs> like, thanks mom and dad. That says, kick my ass like the Sermon on the Mount lunchbox I'm carrying around. I did have, uh, did have He-Man. He-Man was awesome. Oh yeah, I had He-Man. I had them all too. I had all the action figures, all the vehicles, all the castles. I had all of them. But my friends all had G.I. Joe, which sucks. Because, and for those of you who don't know, uh, He-Man, eight inches tall. G.I. Joe, three and a half inches tall. Not allowed to play together. There's a distinct segregation in the toy world. And I'm like the guys that are like, uh, hey, I, I'm Duke, leader of the Joes. I'm like, I'm He-Man, master of the universe. And he's like, he can't play, he's too big. I'm like, don't you oppress me, it's a pituitary issue. <laughs> it's glandular condition, I have a bracelet. <laughs> so then you gotta, you gotta borrow a Joe, and borrow a Joe is suck, because they never give you the good ones. They don't give you like the cool ninja guy, or the, the awesome kung fu guy. They give you like the drab green army suit guy. Like, oh, he's horrible. All the, your buddies are gathered around like, I'm Duke, leader of the Joes. And one guy's like, I'm Roadblock, heavy machine gunner. And I'm like, I'm Gary from accounting. <laughs> Watch out, evil doer. I will misfile your W-2s. <laughs> so or even worse than that, they give you the oldest one in the box. And all the guys that are my age that play with G.I. Joe, you know the one I'm talking about. His paint's all gone, he's jiggly joints. All the tension in his arms and legs are all gone, you can't pose him anymore. It sucks. You know, all the other guys are cool, you know? He's got, they got their guys and they're all there, one leg up on a rock. He's pointing majestically in the distance, going, okay, Joes, we're gonna move out. God, my guy's over there all half limp. Like debilitating stroke Joe. <laughs> Not, it's not cool. <laughs> so, uh, so I got myself a Joe. I went out and I stole a G.I. Joe. <laughs> the real American hero when I'm stealing him. How's that for irony? So uh, I go out, but I didn't see the I got. I just kind of went out to the store and he was out of his package. And I just grabbed him, shoved my pocket, ran home. Very excited. Didn't see what I got, though. All my buddies are excited, they're pulling out their guys, like, look, I got Lady Jane! Like, look, I got Leatherneck! I'm like, look, I got Rim Job! Shit! <laughs> rim Job? That is a horrible code name! <laughs> no one wants to share a foxhole with Rim Job! <laughs> like, all right, Joes, we're gonna set up a beachfront. Scarlet, Lady Jane, you'll tent over there. Leatherneck, Snake Eyes, you'll bivouac over there. Rim job, you're with me. <laughs> the good old days. I miss them. You know what else I miss? Hall and Oates. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she will chew you up. She's a man eater. Oh, I miss Hall and Oates. You know who else misses Hall and Oates? Oats. Because <laughs> that was a sweet gig. Guy walks up to you at a bar, he's like, hey dude, I sing. You want to be in my band? Yeah, yeah I do. 
You think you can grow an afro and a large magnum PI mustache? I might be able to do that. Can you clap rhythmically behind me as I sing? I don't know, let's try. Private eyes, they're watching you. You got yourself a gig. 